item list filters narrow down the items that appear in the item list to just those that match specific criteria. For example, you can create a filter to show only items purchased this year or your favorite disco records. To apply a filter, tap or click the Item List Options button at the bottom of the item list and select Filter Options to open the Item List Filters panel. Tap or click the plus button in the upper right corner to create a new filter. The new filter has a single rule, Price is Empty. Tap or click on the rule to change it. The Filter By option can be one of two values. Item Field or Item Component. When set to Item Field, the Field option determines which item field the rule is applied to. For this rule, we're going to use the Purchase Date field. The Rule option represents the type of comparison made. The possible options are dependent on the field that is chosen. We're going to select Greater Than or Equal To. Many comparison rule types have a value option that is compared against the selected field for each item. Entering January 1, 2024 will give us a rule for items with a purchase date on or after the beginning of 2024. Filters can have multiple rules. Tap or click the plus button to add a new rule. For this rule, we're going to select Item Component for the Filter By option. The Component option shows a list of elements related to an item, such as location, receipts, and warranties. In this example, we're going to choose Warranties. As with rules for item fields, the options available for the rule option are dependent on the selected component. In this example, we have a filter that shows items that were purchased on or after January 1, 2024, and for which all warranty coverage has expired. For this filter, the Match All Rules option is enabled, requiring that an item must match all of the rules defined in the filter in order to be shown in the item list. Disabling Match All Rules will show an item if it matches any of the filter's rules. In this case, the item list would show any item purchased on or after January 1, 2024, or in which all warranty coverage has expired. To delete a rule, tap and hold or right-click on the rule and select Delete. Tap the Add button to create the filter. The newly created filter will show up as the selected filter in the Active section and will be applied to the item list when you exit the Item List Filters panel. If you wish to use a filter on multiple occasions, it's a good idea to save it as a preset. Tap or click Create Preset from Current Filter to save the newly added filter and give the preset a name. To turn off filtering, select No Filter from the Active section of the top of the panel. Tap or click on a preset to make it the active filter. The selected filter will remain active as you browse the item list, with the exception of Disposed Items, which maintains its own filter settings. To edit a filter, tap and hold or right-click on the filter and select Edit and make any changes you want to the filter's rules. To delete a filter preset, tap and hold or right-click on the filter and select Delete. Itemless filters can also be applied to reports for the report types of item list, item detail, disposed item list, disposed item detail, moving box item list, and moving box item detail reports. Select an appropriate report and then select the item filter button at the bottom of the reports view to bring up the item list filters panel. Create a filter or select a preset and exit the panel. When you run the report, only items that match the selected filter will be included in the report.